Okay, we are back to kind of vlogging. This this stand is holding again. It's not too cold. Ooh, what are we doing? I, I don't know. Let's see if that holds. Okay, so um, there was a vlog last week, but it was very small. It was like, what, 15, 20 minutes? And then that was technically the vlog from the week before. So just to give you an idea, I get, I get sick of it. I'm sure you get sick of me complaining about, um, oh crap. I didn't grab my lip color. Oh well. It was Milani Bahama Beige. Bahama Mama? Bahama Mama Beige. Something like that. Okay. So, I need sunglasses. Do I have them? Do I have any? I'm kind of excited right now. I have like packages coming today. So, yes. Okay. I was going to share makeup with you because I had some new purchases, but uh running late <laughs> but yes so back to complaining about work try not to do that so instead i just <laughs> didn't vlog uh i did hire somebody for like my for one of the 2.5 jobs so i'm very exciting i'm very exciting i'm very excited for this uh because it'll make a huge difference in um my daily work life packages i am so all over the place boots again let's see if we have any luck the one pair of boots that i kept from my yooks um haul i bought like a whole bunch more from that same brand because i knew they would work for me so let's see about that also these glasses i found two pairs uh from ebay and i'm super excited about them i basically stocked this pair of sunglasses on ebay and Amazon they appear every so often but then I'm like are they real or not but I'm like why are they selling just like one pair of fake I don't know whatever we'll see we'll see when we get them because I have so many pairs of Miu Miu sunglasses at this point that I kind of know if they're real or not okay what else mm, need to dye the hair need to do the nails the nails are all grown out and slightly chipped at the tips but still doing really good I've had it on for like two weeks so definitely still doing good Favorite nail polishes are Kiko and Berry M. I think hands down, they're my absolute favorites. TJ Maxx haul. I went into my shower like yesterday, not yesterday, probably a couple days ago and reached for this and it was empty. <laughs> so I was really excited. So I was like, okay, I have to get this, you know, repurchase. But it was at TJ Maxx for eight bucks. So it's already in my shower, used it this morning. This piece, I don't know, this is by the brand Hotel Balfour, like that. And they have so many pieces kind of like this, but I went for this one because, I don't know, I like this kind of tiered vibe that it had going on, hold on. There, and now you can see it better. It's kind of stinky, you know, like uh, plastic stinky, but super pretty, and then it has like, you know, the little, Sticky things on the bottom so it doesn't scrape. I don't know what I'm putting in this yet. I was just, you know, it's pretty, so let's get it. Plus, as I was showing you guys that stuff, I realized I'm gonna get questions on the nail color. It is Lavender Out Loud by Wet n Wild. If you like any, any of the nail polish colors in this range, absolutely get them. I have probably four. I've repurchased Power Outage, which is the black one. I don't know, four times. It's just, the finish is like really pretty. Right? We agree? I have a paper cut here. It was actually quite painful. My nails are growing so long again. I'm so excited. I went back to taking like the Super V, oh my God, Super V. The Super B Vitamin Complex. Um, and I've been taking it every day for the past like three months. And I think it's doing good for my nails again. Good morning. Okay, lots of boxes in the back. Ooh, the secret. Oh, and the hair clip. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's obviously Monday, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> it's almost 60 degrees. Or like, not right now, but it's supposed to be almost 60 degrees today, which is pretty exciting. It's not gonna last long though. Okay, so. Ah, what do we wanna talk about? Should we talk about TV shows? Oh, I was gonna show you guys my soap. Mm, we'll do that tomorrow. Um. TV shows. Okay, so what have I been watching? I don't know. I feel like I'm a little bit in a rut, but I'm sure it'll... Everything has started up again soon. Or, what am I... I'm, my tenses are mixed up. My eye... Do you guys ever get this? I don't know if it's allergies or what it is, but just one... The inner corner of my eye feels very tender. 
and it f I don't I want to say like oh my eyes watering but it's like watering upwards so if anybody knows the deal with something like that and it's like just painful like just to blink at night I put like oil in that area to kind of soothe it but I don't know and it makes my eyeshadow look a little a little weird right there I don't know right TV shows so I've been watching Lucifer which the first couple seasons I was just like it was one of those shows I just had on in the background I wasn't you know committed to like I wasn't invested in the story or anything I was just kind of like it's, it's okay it's a little like there's like it felt like kind of cheesy and slightly overacted but this I think it's the third season or whatever the most recent season is that's on Hulu I'm just like so into it the first couple seasons there's so many hot people on this show that like it definitely can keep your attention you know um so that's why I kept watching but this third season it's like I feel like the writing just really or maybe you know the first couple seasons it was meant to be a little less you know serious like because this most recent season feels much more emotional emotional <laughs> emotional mo there's more depth it's so much funnier and in general the humor is kind of dark also um, okay, so the premise of the show is Lucifer comes up from hell into Los Angeles. Uh, the other thing is that we have this idea that the devil is this like evil incarnate, but in fact, obviously he's a fallen angel sent to hell to punish evil. So he himself technically is not evil, you know what I'm saying? So he only plays off of whatever negative or evil is within you. Do you know what I mean? I love it because... I'm not Catholic, but I definitely went to Catholic school for 12 years, so I mean, I know it's the Bible. So all the characters that, that become, uh, that come to, what do you, how do you say, like, the characters that are introduced are like so interesting to me. So that's that. Um, what else have I been watching? Okay, so Andrew suggested I watch East, East Siders. I think that's the name of it. The first season, I swear, this is not like an all white guys look the same thing, but for the first season, of the, the four main white guys, I was kind of like, are they, the, they look so similar to me. And then the second season, they all got haircuts and I, you can like see their faces and they all became like very attractive. You're like, oh, okay, I get it. Um, so it's about relationships. Because we were talking about relationships, Andrew and I, and just life in general one day. And he's like, you should watch the show. And I'm like, okay, I'm watching it. First of all, Constance Wu's character, who, fresh off the boat she's on that show which I'm not gonna get into I have I have certain opinions about shows whether it be like centered around Asian American family black families or just how they choose to represent a non-white family so I'm not gonna get into that um, but she's on this show and her character is so annoying to me. Oh my god, her character is so annoying to me. Like, I'm just like, I would hate to be friends with you. Like, you're, she's, okay, fine. She's a good friend, but, like, to date her, like, I would lose my mind. She's, like, the complete opposite of the kind of person I am. Um, I want some reality TV shows to be available that I haven't seen on, on Netflix or Hulu. Okay, housewife shows. I like New York, Orange County. Mm, Beverly Hills. Oh, and Atlanta. Do I need to be exploring the other ones? I tried watching the one with the Potomac. That was like, <laughs> it was like kind of boring to me. Um, but I heard they're they bringing it back. Also, Miami was so fun to me. All the girls on Miami were so hot. I was like, why did they stop the show? <laughs> were they not interesting enough or what? Or maybe I feel like their drama was repetitive. Like there wasn't like new and different drama. Maybe that's what it was. Okay, random grocery haul. We have some peanut sauce, two bags of this. These are the most addictive things ever. I don't know, I show these pretty often. If you haven't tried them, or if you have tried, oh, they're so addictive. This specifically, because if you're like me and you don't like salt. Um, some, what am I doing here? Bags, do we care about this? Probably not. Okay. Almond milk, green beans. I'm gonna stir fry, I think, with some golden curry. Um, oh, these are fancy. Hold on. Steam in a bag. Okay, I don't know if this bag specifically, but you know, some largely large rice cauliflower, I guess. 
And then some cheese. We got Parmesan and mac and cheese blend. Okay, what day is today? Mm. Wednesday. Okay, I wanted to share this earlier with you, but I didn't have it to show you. Okay, so cell phone case. I have a new one. So I want to say in the summer, is that when I showed you guys one with one of these like little holder thingies? Uh, what do you call them? I know there's like a brand, like Pop Socket, but I don't know, whatever. These kind of like ring holders. So that one, I was like stupid about it. Like I would use it like a normal person, but I also like, I would like hold it like this and I would like twist it and I, whatever. I was stupid, I ruined it and then it came off. And then it just looked stupid because there's like a big gap in the case. So I was like, I got this one from Big, no, Five Below, which I get pretty often for the d different versions of phones that I've had. It's one of these like soft cases, but the lining, like the frame is gold and it just looks really pretty because my iPhone is, you know, the gold one. So it just looks like the iPhone, but then it's just like with a gold like rim or whatever. Anyway, I was missing this thing. So I went on eBay and I looked for one and I found this one. How pretty, like, isn't it gorgeous? So pretty, it's even prettier in person. This ring thing though is kind of large. It also has a like, little, cubic zirconias, whatever you want to call it. Um, they're in here and it's really pretty. The thing is though, this thing is really large. And I know that my I don't have very large hands, but this, it's kind of big. It's not a bad thing. It's, like, it's still usable and I, I just keep it the way it is. Like I don't twist it, I don't do anything with it because I want it to last. Um, and then along the frame, you have all these little crystals too, which is so pretty. Like when you take this out at night or like inside of a restaurant, it just, ugh so bougie and like shiny and pretty but subtle like it's not covered in crystals you know i mean i'm just like very into it are we into it so i got it i'll, I'll link it below i got it for like three dollars maybe a little over three dollars but you know when you're checking your tracking to see when it's gonna arrive it dropped to like a dollar 39 i was like whatever i mean three dollars is still really good for a phone case um and it's the same thing it's like a, a you know like a plastic silicone -y thing and they have it in like red I think there was like a blue or a black, like a darker color, but obviously, you know, I'm gonna get this one, so. I really like it, so I wanted to share it with you guys. There's like no crystals here. This is just all like cut differently so it like reflects light. So adorable. Okay, now that we killed two and a half minutes on a cell phone case, <laughs> I'm curious to see what my hair looks like when I get into the light because there was definitely like a situation this morning where I was like, is it too big? But then when I want it to be big, it's not big. That's not bad. Okay. So I had two more boxes of the L'Oreal V48. So I used them the past couple months and I ordered um some ebay so l'oreal has their own like ebay store and they were doing 30 percent off and i picked up three boxes of the v38 which is like a darker than this which i've been really loving and i think i picked up a couple other things because like most of the l'oreal stuff was 30 percent off and then if you bought three items or more they knocked off another 10 percent off your order and, um, and free shipping right because ebay i was like that's excellent so i need to start paying attention to like brands that actually have ebay stores or amazon stores because at least you know you're getting it straight from like the original retailer you know there hasn't been much vlogging if you guys have noticed so like from like i want to say like through the summer till i've slowly like eliminated like the makeup like sharing like my full face of makeup with you because a it literally takes almost half hour to 40 minutes to film that and then you know the editing process for something like that is just stupid um so i've only been sharing like products new products i've been trying as well as products i've been loving that kind of thing so it cuts down um because full face really is super detailed and then usually i can film throughout the week but what i've been noticing is like i film a little bit on the weekend and then i'm filming saturday morning and editing and doing everything and trying to getting it up by like saturday at noon or like sometimes it's like between like noon and 3 p.m is when i can get the vlog up i feel bad but i also really don't have time like you guys if like if i have time i do um try to film as much as possible like i'm whenever i discover something new or like i just i want to tell you guys because like you know how like people in your real life 
Although it's not for me. I think people in my real life, which is not that many people, <laughs> care about what you guys also care about, which is great. But there's just so much I always want to share with you guys. And I feel like I like, I don't know. Okay, here's the thing. I know I'm not super active on Instagram, i.e. like not active at all. Like, <laughs> I almost feel like Instagram at this point exists so that I can like wish Andrew like a public happy birthday besides just, you know, a regular like personal happy birthday. <laughs> but what if I like in the Instagram stories, um, would you guys be interested in like me posting the deals I find? Like for example, like that L'Oreal being 30% off on eBay, I think is an excellent, like should I be putting those things on the Instagram stories? Would you guys be interested in that? Because they stay up for what, 24 hours, which means, you know, if the, the deal should be good within that time frame, because I feel like I'm missing a lot of like wanting to share like promotions with you guys, you know? Okay, let me know about that because that I can do. Like taking beautiful makeup flat lays and like selfies and sh like that, I can't, it's not for me, but I can definitely share deals with you. Okay, so let me, okay, before I tell you where I'm going, let me explain what happened last night. So work is still like, you know, a lot of work. So, you know, when you have like, like a 10, 10 hour day-ish or 11 hour day, it's kind of like exhausting. So yesterday, I was like, okay, got home kind of early and took a shower. And then by like nine-ish, I probably like plopped on my couch with my phone. It's like, okay, it's fine. And then at like maybe like 9.15, I wake up okay i've never fallen asleep on the couch guys i don't that's like not something i do and then so you know on the phone again i started watching a youtube video youtube videos like lull me to sleep all the time so then i do that like maybe like 9 30 i wake up again and i was like whoa okay so so tired by 10 15 i wake up for the third time and i'm just like okay time to actually just get into bed and just sleep so that was that i woke up at like 2 30 in the morning and then I was able to fall back to sleep, which was good. So this morning I'm doing my makeup. I go to do my brows. I'm clearly missing some brows here. <laughs> so in my days, I had gotten out of the shower and I had put one of the eyebrow razors down to like shave my face because I like to do it every couple weeks or at least once a month. Anyway, it was time. So I didn't really wait for the mirror to unfog. I just kind of, you know, swiped it a little bit and went to town. Of course, of course this morning I wake up and there's, I'm missing like five, six hairs. And to me, <laughs> that's a lot of hairs. So I basically do not have a tail on my right brow anymore. Like that is essentially fully drawn in. Guys, I'm just sitting there cracking myself up this morning. It's like those, you know those like Instagram videos where people accidentally um, like razor off their brows, no. It could happen, it really could. Oh, so the whole point is, so now I have a dentist appointment. Pretty sure, you know when you go to the dentist, half your face is usually gonna end up demolished anyway. I'm pretty sure my, I'm gonna have like no brow by the time I get out of this appointment. We shall see. Okay, post-dental appointment. Actually not so bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, well I lost a little bit of brow, lower brow here. Cause he was like resting his hand like right here. I thought I was gonna lose my lash. Oh my God. Oh, guys, this whole lash, is, I seriously, I felt like, I can't speak right now. I felt like half of the lash was like off. It is still there. I started using a new lash glue because they don't sell the one I like anymore. The Kiss glue that's like black and like the tube, like a big tube. It's not sold anymore. At least not that I can find. Um, oh my god. I'm like amazed at everything that is staying on. Also, I'm back to using the J1 Jelly Pack. I have had a huge issue with makeup staying on lately. Like around my nose. Um, or like my bronzer would go on. And it just like, it would like, it would just like skip in places. And I'm just like, what is going on? Maybe I need to find some kind of primer, like a better primer. Cause I don't wear primer every day. Like I wear primer like maybe every two weeks just to like play with primers. That J1 jelly pack, seriously, like 
wow. I just have to touch up my brow a little bit. Actually, this whole brow is a little, little wonky. Um, okay. Good morning. Okay, so I need to put a jacket on, actually. Okay. So, I have something to share with you. Kind of, sort of. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do another of those like luxury haul vlog conversations videos. Maybe it won't be about conversations. I actually just didn't know what to title that video, but I really, really liked it. Okay. Love, right? <sighs> okay. Ooh, actually we'll put a scarf on or something. It's so cold. All right, jacket. Oh, guys, that Zara red jacket, I really want to wear it. I haven't had the opportunity yet. It hasn't been like the right, the right time to wear that outfit. Okay, so today's Friday. Oh, this has been the longest week. Longest week. My new receptionist starts on Monday. <gasps> I'm so excited for her. I mean, I don't know if she's excited. Um, I'm just really excited. You know, because when you work at a front desk, you're chained to that desk. And it's fine if, you know, that's your job and that's what you do every day. But, like, I have so much more things to do. And I'm like, oh. So much more, so many more things to do. What was I talking about before? Oh, yeah, another luxury haul video. I'm so excited to share with you. So I have a purse that I've been using a lot lately that I want to share with you. These sunglasses. I have some leggings. I have decided to start investing in leggings because for a while you just like, okay, they're just leggings, but they are pants. They really are pants. I wear leggings every single day. Every so often there will be like a pair of jeans I'll wear. Like there's like a pair of Zara jeans I like. There's a pair of, you know, I have some like nice denim, like Joe's jeans, Paige denim. You know, I have nice jeans, but I wear them maybe a couple times a month. So, yeah. 